Hi guys, welcome to my podcast, y'all. I cannot believe I'm finally saying that. I've been working on this for years, y'all, and I'm super excited to finally be able to be doing this and announcing this to you guys. But I just thought for today's episode to be short, sweet, just a little bit of intro so you guys can understand what this podcast is going to be about. You guys can also understand like where i want this podcast to go in the goal for this podcast so yeah let's just jump right okay so first things first let's talk about the title where i came up with time bomb what does time bomb mean to me okay so i pretty much came up with this title one reason actually it's really one reason i'm trying to think of this elaborate reason but it really is just one reason so the one reason is time flies you can't get time back you know people are only on this earth for a certain amount of time you know everyone comes on this earth at one point and they have a certain point where they're no longer on this earth and i always 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 used to hear the saying life is short um don't take life for granted don't take time for granted you know spend time with your loved ones all this stuff and you're like yeah 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 life is short but i'm i'm young i got all these years to like live and all these years to you know rebuild a friendship rebuild this rebuild that and that is pretty much not the truth time is ticking time is flying y'all i genuinely felt like i was just 17 years old or 16 years old in high school yesterday but I'm 20 years old, sitting in my apartment, filming this podcast, a junior in college, living in Miami, and I am nowhere next to or nowhere close to being that 16-year-old. Or like I'm past that, like not even in the same state anymore that I grew up in. So time is always ticking, and that's pretty much where I came up with the title of the podcast to call it Time Bomb because... Time is always ticking, literally. Always ticking. Time is always moving. It will never, ever, ever stop. But that's pretty much where I came up with the podcast name. Now, a little bit about me so you guys can understand. For those who don't know me, my name is Diamond. I'm currently a 20-year-old college student living in Miami. And I know people are like, okay, and like, what is this going to be about? But I lost my mom tragically in 2019 when I was only 17 years old and my life was in shambles like in shambles and I feel like that's the best way for me to describe it and I have never experienced loss ever in my life besides a dog like a dog that I had a childhood dog but that does not compare to losing a parent or a loved one so for me to have never experienced death a day in my life besides my dog passing away I had no idea what was going on. I had no idea what my life was going to be like. I had so much going on. I was about to graduate high school. I was going to go to prom. I was going to move away, go to college. It was just so many moving pieces going on in my life while I just figured out my mom had just passed. So that's a little bit about me. I'm going to go a little bit deeper into that and a little bit deeper into you know, everything regarding uh, my mother's passing and how I felt mentally and everything like that. In the next episode, we're not going to get into too many details for this episode because I want it to be short and sweet for you guys. But that's just a little bit about me and a little bit about my history and everything like that. The next thing I want you guys to know is where do I want this podcast to go? What is this goal? Like, what am I trying to achieve by having this podcast? And for me, my main goal for this podcast is to inspire others, to let people know they are not alone, to be there for others, and most importantly, build a community. And I can't stress that enough. Build a community. When I mean to tell you, when my mom had passed, I had this mindset that I felt like no one understood what I was feeling no one understood what it felt like to be me I was so stressed out like so 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 stressed out that I had made myself sick and I kind of closed off and I don't want people to have that feeling I don't want people to feel like they're they're alone and people don't understand them because that's not the case and for me once I had started to speak to certain people and I got on that level and I got comfortable enough to talk to certain people about how I was feeling and what was running through my mind and all these things that I was trying to figure out, I started to realize 
granted no one's going to ever understand exactly how i feel or exactly understand what i'm going through but they may understand certain aspects of it so once i was able to learn that and decipher that and have somebody there or people there that understand me there i can go and talk to them call them up right now text them right now and i know for a fact they will answer their phone or you know come you know can be there for me once i was able to realize that i'm like wow okay so i wasn't alone I'm not alone. These feelings that I feel are normal and I shouldn't be ashamed of that. I shouldn't feel like I can't say anything. And, but I also realized there are not people, there are not a lot of people that have that support. Not everyone has certain people that have lost people. Not everyone have certain people that they can go to and they feel comfortable with being vulnerable and talking about certain things because some of the things that I'm going to be talking about in this podcast it's going to be hard. It is a rough topic. It is a hard topic to talk about. But at the same time, I feel like this conversation and these topics need to be talked about because death happens every day. And for this to be a, like a normal thing and it's just the nature of life, no one talks about it. And that's what blows my mind and that's what I'm like I want to be able to educate people and I want people to educate me because I don't know everything I'm still learning I'm still growing I'm still learning at something new every single day regarding death regarding mental health regarding everything so that's pretty much where I want this podcast to go I just genuinely want to build a community for people who don't who feel like they don't have that community with friends with family and things along those lines and if you don't have that community that is a hundred percent okay because for the longest I felt like I couldn't open up to certain people but that is okay and it's just going through the process and there's nothing ever wrong with that now where can you guys stay up to date with this podcast where can you guys follow this podcast at this podcast will be dropped and released on spotify and on this youtube channel yes i've decided to drop this on my youtube channel because i personally love watching or listening to podcasts on the tv i don't know why but i love to like turn it on and wash the dishes and anything along those lines because i just feel like sometimes the speaker isn't loud enough but then also i want to have it on spotify so for those who have spotify you can listen to it in the car or you can you know listen to it in the shower the same thing when you are cleaning and episodes will be released every sunday for the upcoming week for people to listen to so yes every sunday and then you guys can also follow the podcast on Instagram at Time Bomb Podcast. Once again, you guys can follow the Instagram at Time Bomb Podcast. And on this Instagram, not only am I going to be letting my followers know that I just released a new episode, but I also want to be posting fun facts about mental health. I want to be posting inspirational quotes and just some place where people can motivation a place where people can see motivation, people can learn new things. It's not only going to be about me, like, trying to promote a new episode. It's genuinely, I'm trying, like I said before, I'm just trying to build a community. But, yes, that is all for this intro episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned. Like I said, all the episodes, episode will be dropping every Sunday. So, stay tuned for the next episode. I'm going to dive deeper into the background, the history about me, and everything that had to do with my mom's passing and how I figured out everything along those lines. So thank you guys. I'm super excited to finally be doing this and go follow us on Instagram. Bye guys.